Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Bastion. I think this is the last proving grounds. Let's see if I can do it. The Ura probably didn't know they were being watched from Mansur Observatory. It was the perfect spot to test something no one's meant to know about. Only trouble was something about the place drove the windbags crazy. Hmm. I wonder if I should have upgraded this weapon after all. We'll probably make this slightly easier. Hefty thing like that takes getting used to. Got a pointer in the right direction. Yeah, I think I'm just going to back. actually quickly go back and the Mansers conducted their most secretive research far east of the city. Mm. No, I want to fail this. Oh, good God. Go away. When the windbags caused the No trouble, the observer What? I can't stop it. Oh thank god. Back to the bastion. Part of the Ripplin walls floated by, so I caught the kid's old knapsack. Oh. Yeah, this is one one more of those. Who knows where? I don't think I'm going to do it. I don't see the point anymore. First step to learning the calamity cannon is knowing about the machinery overrides. There we go. I don't think we need any more damage on this gun. Let's try it again. Uh, yeah, and I think that's that is the last last place we need to go. So this is probably going to be the last episode. Provided that I manage to do this stupid thing. You'd think that would hurt if you just planted face first. Come on, you stupid things. Yeah, this is slightly easier when I upgraded the gun. Ooh, that was a good shot. Sorry that I'm being silent, I need to concentrate at least slightly. Yeah, I think I'm gonna manage it unless there's some really fast one on the last wave. Doesn't seem like it. There we go. The experiment was a rousing success. Calamity rockets. If only the Mansers could have seen the kid playing around with their favorite toy. A rocket launcher was your favorite the toy. Service for all the men and women who serve Ceylandia. I'm not sure what to think about that. They knew everything, even if it cost them. And now I'm just going to go ahead and do the last mission. So let's go. Yes. Yes, I am. I can't hear him at all anymore. 
He's too far away. But he'll be all right. Just needs to get that shard from Zolf and come on home. The calamity hit the Tazzle Terminal's hardest of all. You know why Zolf went back there. The place was his home. All his old friends and family were there. Taken by the Calamity, Zolf must be there all alone, just waiting. You know what's funny? Well? Look around. There's not much left to do here in the Bastion, I'm afraid. So why not tell each other stories to pass the time, right? But Zia, there's another reason I've been telling you all this. There's something I want you to understand. When the kid brings back that shard, the bastion will be complete. What happens to Zulf will no longer matter. This disease the era planted here will go away. Ceylandia will be whole again. will be back to normal.
gonna be all right. Problem is, we'll all be gone. But we're not gonna die. It's more like all of this will just stop. Things will go back to the way they used to be. This whole place is a living record of the times before the Calamity. The way things were before this story. Good times, right? Be your old self again. Think of all those times that didn't go your way. Setbacks. Imagine if you could have another go at them. No mistakes. Anyone you've ever heard? Everything you've ever done, you could do it over. And wouldn't that be grand? Wouldn't you agree? Well, I guess there's nothing more to say.
Look. There's something else. A confession. How come I know so much about the Bastion? Oh my god. I just keep falling down and down and down again. There's one problem with a place that sets things back to a bygone time. You can't test it. So you're probably wondering if the calamity happened already. What's to stop it from happening again after the Bastion does its thing? The answer is... I don't know. You're wondering if there ain't some other way out of this mess. It's alright. I can tell. But why would you even want another way? Unless, unless you wanted to stay here with us. Well, that's sweet and all, but I don't know if I can stick around. on our shoulders. We can't just let it go. Bastion does have another function, strictly speaking. If ever the monument blew out, and we couldn't repair it, we could still... evacuate. First, we'd round up as many folks as we could carry. Next, we'd detonate the cores, and we'd take off... away from here. Why wouldn't you detonate the cores? Like, just to make them explode? What the fuck? Sorry. Seems pretty strange. You know, Zolf and his countrymen won't be giving up that shard without a fight, don't you? Up. 
Zulf and the Ura. All they want now is to see the Bastion fall. Zolf dedicated his life to a lasting peace between the Ura and Ceylandia. He can't have imagined the city would try to wipe the Ura out. Zolf ain't lost every shred of decency, though, has he? He tried to warn you about his plans. He tried to warn the kid. For Zolf, this ain't a personal matter. Simple matter of pride, either. One thing's for sure, the era can't be happy that the kid followed Zolf all the way home. Ooh, a moral dilemma. So we can leave Zulf to his death, or we can take Zulf with us and save his life. And since I'm a good guy, I'm going to take him I with me. I can see it now. The kid in one corner, and Zulf in the other. Ain't much of a fight. Don't you worry, though. Once the Bastion's restored, it'll all be all right. You ain't still thinking about that whole leaving the city thing, are you? Open wide, feel your heart in it 
Kids probably dealt us off by now. It reminds me of myself when I was his age. I ever tell you about those days? Hey, kid. Get up, kid. Funny. I say get up. That's more like it. Now, set that shard into the monument there. Then we'll talk. The Bastion. It's finally finished. <laughs> now, there's something I want you to see. Welcome to the heart of the Bastion. I ain't one for long goodbyes, so here's the deal. Zia and I figure you had done the heavy lifting, so you get to do the honors. We can tell you how to work this thing if you got any questions. Hey, kid. You can undo the calamity here and now. Go on, kid. And before I forget, thank you. Always wondered what the motherland was like. Not that it matters anymore. Zolf only brought more ruin to the earth. No wonder they didn't take kindly to him. You've got one thing left to do, so you hang on to that badge. Besides, you earned it. Don't let anything you've done get to you. You can save all those creatures here and now. We made it. So, let's see. You can either prevent the calamity, or stick around with me and Rex. I'd hate to be in your shoes. If I could be any place I wanted, I'd stay right here. We could go anywhere in the world. Zolf tried to talk me into joining him. I tried to talk him out of it. I guess we both failed. When I finally found my people, I told them we could help. They just took me for a traitor. Glad you showed up. Any moment I'd want to live again happened after the Calamity, not before. So here's the deal, we can either go back in time and restore the world before the Calamity to get everything back, but there's the catch that we don't know if the Calamity will happen again, so is it any use to go back in time only for history to repeat itself, or we can just leave leave everything as it is and go do whatever we want to do and accept the fact that the world is devastated by the calamity not entirely destroyed mind you as you could see there are still things living here but everything we lost in calamity is gone for good and if we evacuate then we cannot later use the restoration thing so I am going to do this because I personally think that if you if something like this would happen and we ha if I had the option to choose between these two things I will choose 
this one because first of all there is no guarantee that if I resort the world then we could prevent everything from happening again so is there really any point and the second thing is that if well if you are the cause of this if this is because of your doing uh, like Rock said it was the manses that caused all of this they planned on destroying destroying the era so it's kind of our own fault that it, this happened so we have to live with our choices so that's why I'm going to choose this one also I have played through this game uh, through before so I kind of know what happens with both of these choices so that's also why I want to do, why, why I want to take this one oh mother and here I figured you'd had enough of me by now you could have undone the calamity itself but instead you want to stay in a world like this. I gotta admit, kid, I ain't yet put much thought in that idea. One more thing to on think about with you of here. those choices that the kid doesn't really have any reason to we go, can't back. go back. No more. But I suppose we could go wherever we please. Because if you think about it, kid doesn't really have anything to go back to. Uh, before the calamity. left out there, I sure would like to see the look in their faces when we dock this thing right on their doorstep. Getting ahead of myself, though. I'm gonna need a first mate. What do you say? So there you go, that's Bastion. A really really good game. Made by Supergiant Games. Another same type of game the same style of game they have done is Transistor. So uh, if you enjoyed watching this let's play and you want to play something similar to this, but not the same game because you have just watched me play it then play Transistor. I might do a let's play of it at some point if I... I haven't bought the game so if I end up buying the game then yes I probably will make a let's play of it, let's play out of it but not right now. Next game I'm probably going to do is... Oh there's salt. <laughs> Next game I'm probably probably going to do... Yeah, my tongue is tired today is uh, Resident Evil 1 Remake or Resident Evil 0 Remake either one of those uh, unless I figure out something else to play I might ask my friends again if, if they have something they want to see me play but for now the plan is to play Resident Evil 1 and Resident Evil 0 Remakes uh, on the PC so, thank you really much for watching this let's play, I hope that you liked it and I hope that you leave a like, leave a comment, saying what you thought about it, if you thought my idea of allowing, the, uh, allowing Rux to do most of the narration was a good idea or a bad idea, if you have suggestions on what I could do to improve my let's plays, if there's something you want to see me let's play do leave a comment about those, I would really enjoy reading them but for now I'm going to uh, turn off my mic and see if there's still something after the credits so thank you really much for watching and I hope to see you in the next let's play that I do see you there
this is going on forever. I don't know if I can last that long to see the end of it. I'm just going to press ESC. Mm. Nothing seems to do anything. I don't think there's anything in the uh, after the credits, so... Yoink! And... Yoink! <laughs> oh, New Game Plus. Sure. No. Good for you if you watched this long. Thanks again.